focused? Yeah. Hello everybody. It's actually good afternoon and not good morning, which I was about to say. Yeah, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, if you can see that. Um, and I'm, ooh, I'm sitting at the new apartment. I'm finally, I finished house uh, sitting finally. So I'm back here and uh, David has just left. We spent the morning, we went to the market, the South Melbourne market, had a cute little breakfast and he got some meat for us for the week. And we've got a couple of little other things. Um, but yeah, he has just headed out because he's going back to his parents. He's got a couple of things at their house that he needs to pick up uh, of his. So um, yeah, let's start the vlog now because I have more organizing to do. I swear the next few videos are all just going to be organizing videos. Oh, I'm telling me I'm recording in the normal recording thing and not in slow-mo. Okay. No, I think we're good. Um, yeah. So I, I swear the next few videos are all just going to be organizing videos because all like not the next few, but the, like for the next little while, because every weekend I swear it's okay. Now we need to do this for the apartment. Now we need to unbox this and there's more rubbish just all the time. And I'm like, ah, um, so that's what life has been like for the last month. It's been like crazy. It feels like, um, once you finally organize it a couple of days later, there's just more stuff to go find a forever home in here. But anyway, we obviously, as you would have seen, I hopefully would have done uploaded a full house tour where I don't go into slow mo. So hopefully David will have helped me film that. And you would have seen the washing machine that we've got. I'll pop in the clips of when they arrived. Oh my God, I've just gotten home from the gym and uh, we have a washing machine and dryer at seven o'clock at night. David's just gone to put the, I'm on my phone by the way, that's why it's terrible. Let me clean it. Is it any better? No. Oh no, it's because my screen's cracked, but I'll show you. Here we have, I think this must be the dryer. Yeah, heat pump uh, there. So that is our lovely new dryer. And then when we come back here, we have the washing machine. So I'm assuming it's the washing machine. So we're gonna have to put it on there because he called me saying, saying, can, um, can you come home from work early before you go to the gym and help me? And I was like, you've called me when I'm about to leave to get to my gym class. So that's a no, otherwise I'm gonna be charged $35 for not turning up. And it was my first class back. So we'll wait till he gets home to put those in. For now, I'm making dinner. Yeah, when, when he brought it over, they were we had to get them in and, and they fit. So our first load of washing has gone on. So that is going away in the background. I'll show you in a minute that it's quite happy. Um, I'll show you what else. Like where the first load has been uh, the sheets. So uh, the bedroom is disorganized. So I need to organize it. Like, and I've just got some random stuff lying around. And I'll show you what we did buy. Oh. This afternoon, when we went out, we bought how can you see it? these, these are, I bought two of these are going to be our little rubbish bins. So tomorrow, if you can see down here, it's like a mess. I've got my books and drinks and I need to pop a little bit of my clothes away, but we are hopefully picking up some bedside tables tomorrow. So. I'm very, very excited and we have been using just like different shopping bags as our individual rubbish bins. So David, David was like, I want rubbish bins. And um, I said, okay, I want them to be wicker because I quite like, quite like the look. And yeah, they're only $20 and the handles, I need to hold the camera a bit better. The handles, as you can see, they're just kind of like, where's the best angle for you? just here and like here they just like around it and through a little loop so if i don't like the handles all the handles make it too tall for them to sit underneath the new bedside tables i'm just going to cut them off but i was like i want cute wicker baskets and for this to start being a vibe i also really like the idea that instead of an art piece above our bed head to get 
a few old tennis rackets and put them up here. Like I'll put up a little inspo pic of what that looked like. Um, I'm not sure if I've already shown you an inspo pic of that, but it looks really cool. And it's not just like a piece of artwork that everyone does like artwork or like a flag or something different. It's something different. Um, and we can just get little tiny needle, like what are they called? Nails and put them into the wall rather than like big nails that hold up something really heavy. So that is the idea. I've also got all the washing needing to happen over here. And a whole other video I wanna do is to organize this space with the idea that I'll have a big mirror there. I'll have maybe some like clear shelving going up the side wall to hold like makeup and stuff or the, or the like. Um, but that is for a little bit further down the road. We are prioritizing the necessities like a bedside table. So that can go back down there. And we got them for, hopefully if we get to pick them up tomorrow because sometimes people just fall through like we had i found perfect ones for 300 dollars, but i was like i'm willing to give up 300 dollars for bedside tables because they were exactly what i wanted and then we messaged the girl because she'd only put it up that day and said oh and she went oh i'm sorry i think i've changed my mind i'm not going to sell them anymore stop not focusing on me yeah so that was very annoying but then we found bedside tables that we quite liked for only $70. So, and they looked almost identical to the ones that were $300. So yeah. Anyway, anyway. Um, so obviously the, uh, the washing machine is going nicely. Quite happily running along. It's quite quiet. It's only got eight more minutes. So we'll see how they've gone, but I'm just going to chuck them in dry because we want to test everything. I need to do all this load. Oh, I need to splash the toilet. <laughs> Sorry, I know TMI, but uh, I need to clean the whole bathroom. That's on the plan. Uh, this is all dirty because it's all just David's stuff that he just brought in. Uh, the light's on in here, but that's okay. I'll pop a couple things away, but this space hasn't really changed. And then the kitchen, I need to organize the kitchen. So I'm so, I'm so excited to show you. Why does this keep unfocusing? Right here. So. Let me go get my tripod and I will show you. But, or should I go and clean the bathroom with you guys while David is gone and then do this afterwards? Because I also want to have a shower. I want to have a shower actually, and then I'm going to show you the exciting thing. And so that the shower can kind of dry while I do um, the exciting thing with you guys. And then I'll clean the bathroom afterwards. Yeah, let's do that. All right, dryer is running. Very nicely over there, as you can see. It's its first dry. David, I, David called me and he was like, I want to be there for the first inaugural dry. And I was like, but I want to film it. And he was like, oh, I was like, don't worry. So I just filmed while I was showing you him on my phone. Um, but no, that's going. So I'm going to chuck in this whole tub of towels and then keep cleaning the bathroom. Like, and David was telling me before when we were doing the first load, it, oh, hello, Gabba, um, it like, it's like AI. He was very, very excited. And apparently it like weighs what you've got in there. It has a look at what you've got in there. So it, we watched it when we were first putting on the sheets and it kind of was doing this thing for like two minutes and it would like turn the washing machine and then do the loading thing and then turn it again and then do it and then turn it again. So you're not, if you're putting on an easy care wash, like I just, I just set it to easy care cold and the highest spin it could do. Um, it would still look at what you're washing and go, is this actually a really, really heavy load or can I do like an hour instead of an hour 40, but that's a whole lot of towels. So it's going to probably do a longer wash. Um, but yeah. All right. What else? All right. I'm going to wipe down the shower, probably dry my hair. And then I might just organize in here before I start organizing the, or should I? I'll organize the kitchen with you guys. Cause that's the exciting point. Cause this can be done later before I rearrange the over here for the bedside tables tomorrow. But, oh, 
So um, I've just gotten a message from this man on Marketplace. He's got an outdoor seating lounge that I'm potentially interested in, but he didn't have the dimensions. So I'm going to go outside quickly and see if that fits. It could fit. It could fit. Let's have a look. All right. The deck, obviously, as you would have seen, but he said the three seater is 1750 wide. 17. 150 and I think we had 1900 wide available out here. Oh, I can smell something. Someone's been cooking. Looks about that wide. Oh, that's perfect. I could go right there. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, how deep did he say? Uh, how deep do we say? Or oh, it could go here, underneath the... Yeah, that could fit here underneath the window perfectly as well. But it depends how deep it is because it came with a second chair. So what was the depth of it? He said... 820. 820 deep, which is from the pole. Wow, it comes I mean, we could get both. That's a big seat. I don't know. It's like a wicker outdoor couch with a white cream cushions. But I like that because I really want to... Let me stop crouching and talking to you. I really like that. I'm going to show you the space a bit better from out here. So you can see out there, like, we've got... <laughs> Our couch and then this couch would hopefully go across the back there and then maybe another one here and a little table over there so that in summer we can lounge on the couches and drink wine and have a little cheese board but outside on the grass area we could have like a proper dining table so that's a good idea and it looks like maybe if I show you whose message the actual This is it. You can oh, see that. There you go. That's it. That's that big seater I was just saying. And then that would be a small one off to the side, but I think that's really cute. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna keep going with the bathroom and I'll see what David thinks when he gets back because that couch and the chair is going for $500, but it's not a necessity. And he may be like, oh, I just, I don't wanna buy the first thing we find. So yeah. Anyway, let's clean this shower. So, I finished washing the shower, but look, where is it? Oh my god. I leant a bottle up against me while I was cleaning it. Not thinking that the bottom of the bottle would be dirty and wet. So now this top needs washing. Ow. Oh. <gasps> oh, I just got my funny bone. Oh man. Ow. All right. Whew. If you know that feeling, you know that feeling. All right. That's that's most of the bathroom done. I'm going to take this off. However, oh, it's very dark for a minute. You can see that that's all dirty. Once I could probably once that's dry, because I want to vacuum and wash the floors in there. Um, but I don't want to vacuum when the floor is wet from me walking in the shower. So we shall wait for that and then. Do that, wait for that and then do that. But for now, I'm gonna stand. And then we're gonna do the kitchen, which I'm actually so excited to do with you guys. Like, this is the organization that like I'm so ready for and is exactly what I wanna be watching on YouTube. 
So it's not the whole cupboard, but it's enough that I think it's gonna make a difference for now until we continue investing in the complete like updo. And I quite enjoy videos that um, don't do, like they obviously do an update um, or let me sit down. They obviously have an update to a space or a room that happens all in one go, but I like, oh, I should, probably shouldn't touch my hair when I've just touched cleaning products. Um, I like when you can see on a YouTube channel, someone's space changing over time and like you get to be part of the journey for like adding this little thing and updating this and updating this portion of the pantry. And then in time you like join them on that journey of trying to find the right basket. That's why it took me so long. Like we've technically been here over a month. I haven't been here over a month because I've been house sitting so much, but like it took us a while to find a, and we knew we needed bins for the bedroom, but like we've had to buy so much that I'm like, can we slow down on all the purchasing? Because um, I don't want to spend all my money in one go and then have no money, but a full house. So I want to ease into it. Um, and that's why a lot of our furniture, like we will eventually upgrade. Like we want to get a, or maybe I want and David agrees to get a overhead lamp that comes over. I want to take out this wooden coffee table and get a poof, like all those things that like I would have spoken about in my um, like apartment tour, um, but they, they're not important at the moment. And we know that this place is, we're hopefully gonna be here a long enough time that we will turn it into our own. And by the time we leave, we'll have everything to just take to the next place and, and update that so that like it's fully ready to go. Whereas this is this is starting from scratch. Like I've only ever been a roommate. This is this is my whole place is mine. Um, obviously with David, but you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, so I put some candles on. I'm gonna wash my hands and probably sit for a minute, take a breather and then we can do the kitchen. Yeah, I'm so excited. Probably dry my hair before doing that. I'm going to style my hair in a video tomorrow for you guys. So um, I'm very excited for that and hold out for that. So yes, and I've actually got a whole lot of jewelry to show you and some new clothes and some new Ralph Lauren. Um, I know some of you have mentioned that recently. So there's some, there's, there's a new piece from Ralph Lauren. So you'll have to wait and see that. But yeah, so if you haven't already, please subscribe and watch out for that. But yes, okay, I'm gonna lie down for a minute and then do the kitchen. <sighs> well, it is just pouring with rain. There's bucketing out there. That's crazy. But anyway, let me set you down. It is kitchen cleaning time. I've dried my hair and changed my dirty top. I wonder, I wonder when I'm editing this if I'll be able to hear the washing machine and dryer in the background because they're both going at the same time and I want to see how loud they are on camera because they're not that loud like in person. So anyway, I've got a bit of cleaning up to do. That is thunder. That is definitely big thunder. So yeah. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to do the dishes and get all this stuff out of the way. And then we've got the cupboard to deal with. Cause it's all just mishmash and like thrown around. And what I'm very, very excited to show you is, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you the empty box first. Is this. Is this? Whoa. We got some organizing containers. Um, they are a beautiful glass containers, all in different like sizes, and the sizes are written up the top there if you wanted to see. Um, we got two boxes of these, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, it says it right there. Ten pieces. It is really, really rainy. I may have to change the audio so hopefully you can just hear me. Hopefully that's better. But yeah, we got these. So uh, we've got two boxes of these. So technically we've got 20 like containers for organizing our like dry goods. I will show you. I already did a few last night because for some reason when we bought them, I was like, 
I just want to put some stuff in them. Let's close that. So we've got, this is the largest one. The thunder is going strong. Anyway, this is the largest one. So this is the, I reckon the 1.9 liters and I need to put some, probably some pasta in here, but it's a nice like simple glass and it's got a gorgeous like wood bamboo top there with a seal as you can obviously see there and then that clamps down so what i've put in here now i won't move the camera just because uh that's going to be a hassle but i've got risotto rice uh jasmine rice in one that i might actually move to another container i've got cocoa powder um Roll oats, chia seeds, brown sugar, icing sugar, and just normal castor sugar in another one. Um, so you can see like all the different sizes. When I'm unboxing, I'll unbox the next one with you guys. Oh, David would be calling me right as I'm trying to talk to you. Like the thunder has been going off. I know, baby. Yeah. Hello. I got the brain. Yeah, it's just starting to stop now, but the thunder was going off just before. So please, please drive safely. Love you, bye. Bye. Alright, anyway. I was meant to be doing this, apparently. But yes, this is a smaller one. This is the smallest size. This is chia seeds in there. And I want to get labels for them, so I might go on Etsy and see, like, who can make the labels for me. Because at the moment, I've had to cut out, like bits of the packaging that the item has come from and put it in there if like for rice for it like i wouldn't do it for chia seeds i'm pretty sure i know what chia seeds look like but for rice there's different types of rice and for like oh the sugar's pretty easy to tell apart but if i was doing flour like i have flour from ages ago sitting in an old container that I think I'm just gonna throw out or give to mum because I, can't, I don't remember if it's gluten-free flour or not. And I'm pretty sure it's not because you can kind of tell the difference with gluten-free flour. Anyway, so like, for instance, with rice, I have to put in there that that's jasmine rice and not risotto rice or Oreo rice. Um, so if I do B, I'm going to organize this dishes sink, get it all clean so that when I start pulling all this, I want to pull it all out and put it all out here and organize it into segments so that I can come back to this and organize this into segments rather than like trying to move them all into different shelves and it's all getting mixed up anyway. So it's all out, we've reset. The idea being, this is my basket like for going to the market or one of the two. I have my Salima that I took to the shops this morning but this one is the idea that we would get this but like shorter and bigger so that they can all sit in there and like organize it all i like the wicker look david does not oh more thunder um he does not he doesn't think we should do it for the pantry let me know what you think because i think it'll look really lovely whereas he's like mm, then things won't be able to breathe as well um no not me like just different packets and stuff. So um, I actually think it's gonna be pretty organized to be honest in the end, because there's a lot of room in there. It's all just like spread in different places. This also needs cleaning because it had some mold on it from some uh, old uh, like yucky fruit and veg. So all right, let me just quickly organize this and then we'll move on. So now I'm going to pull everything out and organize it. So, at the top, we've currently got snacks over here. So, snacks can go in the, in the microwave, but there's not many left. This is popcorn. This is not a snack. This is plum liquor. I can't say L I Q U O R liqueur. Maybe I just said it liqueur. I think under pressure. I'm like, mm, liquor. I do not know what that was. Anyway, snacks. And then we've got some containers, which I don't think we're gonna need a container this big anytime soon, so we could use it to like house some different things. Uh, we've got more containers there, but up here, we've got like noodles. 
Noodles. What is that line from Kung Fu Panda? But you love noodles. Like he's always like about noodles. I don't know what it is. Anyway, noodles can go over here so that they're noodles and pasta because actually speaking of pasta, speaking of the good old carbs, I reckon these will fit. Do you reckon? No, I reckon they're just too tall. I could open it and see it had air. Oh, am I going to go big and small? No, not really. Um, yeah, I reckon these are just too tall. That's so annoying. But that is the idea is that pasta will go in this one. Maybe I'll have to do like curly pasta in there. But we've got all these gluten-free ones, bread crumbs. So we get pasta and like this is more like the flour and stuff area that can go over there. Pasta, pasta, pasta. Ooh, almond milk. Nice. I'm on camera. You are. <laughs> but look, you're getting there. It's yeah. just all out here. You got blue. Is that okay? No. Well, it's a bit. I'm joking. It's a you problem. Is it bad to grab these when there's nothing in them? Yes. Yeah, it would open the thingy for I've just got it open already for you. Thank you. These are good enough. These are nice ones, hey? Yeah. We should get some, um, like, the big squares now. They have them there, but I was worried that they were too high to fit in that. And I thought I just would go with these for now. True. Um, I'm going to use these uh, cardboard boxes and oh, cut them down. Sorry. I'm going to use these cardboard boxes and just cut them down to the height that we want and then when we get the stuff to replace it. Yeah. yeah. We can do that. Huh? We can do that. We can? Yes. Um. What do you think in terms of layout? I haven't moved the containers yet just because I was like, or is it light and easy to move? I reckon we just like to think of it like that avocado box. Maybe that's good for all the bottles. I like that one for bottles because it's it's quite sturdy. So maybe that can go in a more unaccessible place, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. I don't really care, but like stuff like oil, we always use oil, so have it kind of somewhere accessible. Yeah. Just so you're aware of what we're dealing with, this is when a lot of the stuff is already gone back in the cupboard, but we have put down a nice like matting here to protect the cupboards and started with all the oils so we will keep going. I might have a bit. Okay. Maybe we're saying okay because I pressed start. <laughs> Come away. The cupboard. So, yes, <laughs> he was like, we have, oh, like, so much better, amazing. So now we have all the, uh, as before, these have stayed, sorry, I was too far over, uh, baking paper, blah, 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 all the pastas and noodles are there. Uh, am I on the right side? Yes. Uh, we've got breads and crackers and my almond milk's at the almond milk. Sorry, almond breads and crackers and my almond milk is out the back. We've got snacks happening in this little one here. All the containers are going to move up to this whole section up here. Um, however, I've just left them there for now because over 
on the dry rack we've got all them still drying so once they're done I'll remove all these then we go down below and we have in this kind of segment all the wet goods so all the oils uh, different balsamics honeys all the, all the rest some different like canned goods and other things like salt and peanut butter and that uh, spices are happening in this container over here then we've got all the dried goods so we've got like flours rices sugars proteins we have some extra like for instance caster sugar here we've got caster sugar happening in this container but i didn't want to empty this into here partially like i just happen to have a half used one and a whole new one so the idea is we use up the rest of that and then when that's ready to be when that's empty that can then be transferred and gotten rid of rather than having a full container and a half empty one of these so then we've got flowers happening at the back we've got all the cooking stuff down here as well as up the top here i think once it's ready to be organized we can deal with it then um we've also got the bin and the bigger boxes down here and then we've got the other set of containers but we don't need them at the moment they're just good to have a second lot and we bought a second lot because when we bought the first one we just thought wow well, a second lot of them because if they run out of run out of them i realize i have to tap on my face on the screen to get it to focus on me if i run out of them then we're gonna have to have non-matching which is really really annoying so anyway david's now gonna make dinner i'm going to relax i'm still blurry and i will see you guys tomorrow but that is the organization of the cupboard i feel like i need to have it open behind me to like show you what it looks like but yeah um i will see you guys tomorrow when we go to pick up our uh, bedside tables it's just a nice chill weekend of like doing the things you've been putting off love all right i'll see you guys in the morning Good morning, everybody. Oh my God. David and I slept, slept in and we were meant to pick up our bedside tables and, and get cash out before picking them up from this lady from Facebook Marketplace at 10 o'clock and we slept in and we woke up and going, what time is it? And it was 9.54. We're like, oh God. Um, so we quickly messaged her saying, can we do 10.30? She said, no worries. I'll be there around. I'll be here at home until 10.45. So we're rushing to get there because we had to quickly get dressed. I've literally just checked on trackies and a jumper over top of my pajamas. Cue the crazy hairdo. David's ran out to get cash out. However, she's just messaged saying, yep, so it'll be a total. So the, she, her ad on Facebook Marketplace was just $70 for the pair. And now she's saying, yep, so it's $140. And we're like, literally in the car going, uh, do we get $70 out or do we get $140 out? Because she said 70 at the start. So he's going to get two lots of 70 so we can offer a 70 because that's what's originally in her ad and then if he has to give her a little bit more like it's not the end of the world but yeah so hopefully he'll find a there's a screaming child i think the man just realized i was filming myself and was like oh <laughs> um and um yeah so he should be back any minute but either way we're getting them it's okay if they're 140 dollars we were hunting for bedside tables that were hopefully $200 and under. So. I haven't even done my skincare though. Ah, oh, crazy times. Okay, we are back. It is much later in the day. Uh, I've been editing this afternoon. We actually went out for brunch with one of our friends. But I do want to show you the bedside tables because we did get them and we got them for $70. I think there was a bit of confusion. Uh, she, David told me, she didn't end up saying 140s. It was the ad on Facebook that was like two because her title was times two. It looked as though he was something like, oh, maybe it is 140. Anyway, it was all good. We got them both for $70. But here they are. This is them. I hope my audio is okay. Let me just focus. There we go. Excuse the mess at the moment. I've been, it's exporting at the moment. But this is it. Let me take my thing off. But it's got the lovely basket sitting below. Uh, the cables I want to fix because I want to get them in a little kind of like tray screwed into the underside of the bedside table but it's a gorgeous chestnut piece with a drawer and a cute little kind of brass looking uh 
candle and then I pick up I've got like books in there and stuff it's kind of a bit difficult there's a couple of little scratches here and there I'm not too worried I haven't wiped it down either so I need to do that but that is it and like this one's David's over here as well but ignoring the mess look how much it changes the room already we were living off this on the floor as you know so like I'm so excited for this to become even more like a living space because at the moment obviously it's just like it kind of it's it's elevated it's gotten slowly to where it is from having no bed frame to a bed frame and mattress um and just the sleeping pillows to like this pillows to the um rubbish bins now and the bedside tables like it is slowly slowly getting there which we love but yes that is that so next up i know let's go do my makeup i've got to fix this camera we've got to figure out how it needs to stop it needs to like auto focus back onto me um Let's go do my makeup and then I'm going to film a video doing my hair um, before we go out for dinner to a pub to watch the NRL Grand Final. My team, well my like family's team which is Melbourne Storm uh, is in the Grand Final so we're going to go to uh, meet them and some other family friends in our local pub to watch that so let's do the makeup and then not much else. Ugh, but and they just darling they're just darling once the whole thing start, well, starts to look better yeah yeah okay this was the final hair look i'm going to show you if it focuses it there you go hopefully that shows you a bit better and that goes down my hair down my back sorry into like a soft flowing ponytail but i love this so much better like with the soft curls happening and then the swooping in the back um to the like fluffed outness of this section here and how it goes out like to the same kind of width as up here down the bottom so much better so um if i haven't already uploaded that go check it out i also just filmed with david um well he helped me film a walk around the apartment showing it all kind of done up like an actual proper walk around unlike just me filming and walking around he was filming me so you'll be able to see me in that video which is a lot nicer um so i don't know if that'll be up by the time this video goes up so if it's not subscribe and wait for it to come out if it is i'll link it and you can go check it out <laughs> but anyway we're gonna head to dinner and see my family for the NRL grand final, as I mentioned. So I will love you all and leave you all later. And have a good evening or morning or whatever you're doing. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.